all namaste and welcome to today's english class of grade 5 today we are in unit 6 entitled talking about quantity and today we are dealing with listening and speaking sessions okay so we have two sessions today listening and speaking before that we are starting today's session with all rhyme okay everybody are you ready let's sing and enjoy this rhyme five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious box m m one jump into the pool where it was nice and cool now there are just four speckled frogs glub glub Sit four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious box yum yum one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool now there are just three little speckled frogs clap clap Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious box. Yum yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are just two speckled frogs. Clap clap! Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious box. Yum yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is only one speckled frog. Clap clap! He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. And now there are no speckled frogs. Okay, so we have. Ah, uh, done with this song, this rhyme or song, whatever you call it. All right. So I have some questions based on this rhyme. Are you ready? Oh, there are three questions. How many frogs are there in a log? That means in the beginning, how many frogs are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there are five frogs on the log. Right? Five. How many? Five. How many logs are there? Are there many logs? How many logs? The long log, right? You could see in the picture. There was, there is only one log. Okay, there is only one log, right? All five frogs were sitting on it. Finally, how many frogs are remaining at the end? Okay, how many? All. Jumped into the pool, so no more frogs are remaining at the end, right? Okay, so we are done with it. Let's move to today's session, and let me begin with speaking session. Okay, let's go to speaking session. Are you ready, all of you? Okay, as our relation based on how many, how much, right? When do we use this how many and how much uh, usually? Yes, while shopping, while shopping, you we use how many and how much a lot, right? This expression for quantity, for asking quantity, and same thing we learned today as well. So let me start with a short clip of video where a, a lady is shopping and using the word quantity words like how many and how much. Everybody notice and learn. The use of how many and how much. Okay, are you ready, all of you? Let's start. Good morning. Good morning. May I help you? Yes, please. I would like some eggs, bread, and milk. How many eggs do you want? Two dozen eggs, please. And for bread? Two loaves of bread. How much milk would you like? Three cartons of milk, please. Okay. Is there anything else that you need? Hmm. Do you have sausages? 
Yes, we have. We have these two types, pork and beef. Which one do you want? I will take the beef. How many packs do you want? Two packs, please. Anything else? Hmm, a bar of peanut butter and pepper powder, please. Is that everything? How much is this chocolate box? It looks great. It's fifty-five dollars a box. Fifty-five dollars? Well, that's expensive, though. We have a smaller version here if you want to try it out. How much is this one? It's twelve dollars. Well then, I will take the smaller one. Okay. Anything else that you like? No, that's all. How much is it for all? It's fifty-nine dollars and seventy cents. Do you need a bag? Yes, I do. Then sixty dollars, please. Okay. Here is my card. Please enter the pin. Okay. Here is your receipt. Thanks for shopping with us today. You're welcome. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Okay, the video is done. Okay, so this video I have downloaded from YouTube, and after watching it, I'm sure that how we can how you can uh, do shopping in a grocery shop using how much how many and then uh, quantity of the things you can ask for the things uh, the food items in certain quantities so how many eggs two uh, two dozen of eggs how much milk how much um, how many uh, loaf loaves of bread okay so you can uh, ask for the quantity as well so how many bread she asked for two loaves of bread right okay in this way you can do your shopping so, so one more uh, dialogue i have got over here about this uh, look at here let's let's practice you can practice this in pair okay with your friend you can practice this with your friend one can ask how much paint would you like okay how much paint would you like and another friend can answer just a little maybe one can one can is one bottle one can okay so it's very expensive it's very expensive so you can uh, practice this dialogue with your friend one more i have over here okay look at dude how many windows do i need to wash this boy is asking to this man dude how many windows do i need to wash oh a few about 50 he answered oh a few about 50 how many windows okay he asked how many windows he needs to wash and he replied about 50 50 windows oh my god all right one more conversation one more example i have over here look at this ask and answer about quantities again okay you can practice this in pair this as well okay you can practice with your friend or maybe at home also with your mom see this is conversation between mom and shara okay mom i would like to make a cake there are are there any eggs in the fridge okay mom would like to make a cake and asking for eggs shara we don't have many there are only two how many eggs do we need how many eggs do we need okay mom replies we need five eggs is there any flour shara yes there is some how to say some okay mom is there any milk shara no there isn't much mom so go to the supermarket and buy a look at here how quantity is expressed amount is expressed a carton of milk okay uh, in our market we get milk in the packets also right 
in um, uh, liter, right? Liter, we can ask for the liter, one liter of milk, two liter of milk. You can ask in liter as well. Some chocolate, two apples and two bananas for decorations and some uh, sugar, three eggs and two kilos of flour. Two kilo, kilos, right? Flour, we buy in kilos. So, you can say two kilos of flour. How much do you buy when you buy flour? One kilo, two kilos, three kilos, right? It depends upon our need. Then, Shara, how much sugar, mom? One bag. So, we, we buy in a kg, right? One kg, two kg sugar we buy. Or packets, one packet, two packet. We buy sugar in packets as well, right? Okay, so on the basis of this conversation, this dialogue conversation, uh, let's uh, do some work, some exercise. So, how we will be confirmed about use of this quantity? Let's do it. Choose the correct option. Okay, let's do one. There is not much or many coffee in the cup. So, what do we say? Much or many? What do you think? Yes, much. Much is the right answer. There is not much coffee in the cup. Two, is there the rasham any chocolate? What do we say? Some or any? Yes, the right answer is any. Okay, we say, is there any chocolate? Right? The way we ask is, is there any chocolate? Three. How much many bananas are there? Okay, what do we say? Much bananas or many bananas? What do we say? Much, much bananas? Do you think so? Or many? Let's check it out. It is much or many? Many. Okay, we say how many bananas are there? Okay, with bananas many. Then four, uh, there isn't some any sugar left. What do we say? There isn't some sugar left. Does it sound right? Or there isn't any sugar left. What do you think? Which one will be the right one? What did you say? Any? Okay, check it out. Check it. Any, yes, any is the right option. There isn't any sugar left. Five. How much many pupils are there in your class? Okay, what do you say? Pupils are students, right? So, how much students are there in your class? Do you think it sounds okay? How much pupils are there in your class? How much students? Check it out. What is the right one? How many? Yes, we say how many pupils are there in your class? How many students are there in your class? Right? We use how many students, how many pupils? Okay, let's come to six. There is some special or any special cakes for tea. Okay, what do you see? Some special cakes or any special cakes? What do we use? The right option is yes, there is some special cakes for tea. Let's come to seven. How much many water is there? Okay, what do we say? How much or many? How much? How much, right? How much water is there? Okay, it's not option, is there? How much water is there? We say how much water is there. Similarly, one more exercise is there. Are you ready for that? Very good. Okay, here it goes. Completion of dialogue. Now, what do we need to do is complete the dialogue with these words how much and how much or how many okay it's how much or how many fill up with one samisa milk is there in the fridge 
Okay, what do we say? How many milk is there in the fridge or how much milk is there in the fridge? What do we say? Which one is the right one? How many, right? <laughs> no, how much milk is there in the fridge? There isn't much. Okay, in, in answer itself, we can find there isn't much. Samisa and the dot apples and oranges are there. How much apples and oranges are there, right? Do we say much apples and uh, oranges? What do you think? Yes, how many, right? How many apples and oranges are there? So, there are few apples and a few oranges. Shohan, okay, we have to get some milk and for apples. Okay, so we have, uh, we sang a song, then uh, several dialogues and we have uh, come with several dialogues and conversations and learn about how much, how many with, um, uh, how much then expressing different quantities. So, look at the examples given in your textbook, right? Conversation again. We have some conversation over here as well. Read the following conversations and act them out and notice the quantity words. Okay, let's notice quantity words. They are already highlighted over there, right? Okay, conversation I, first conversation. Garima and Pus. Okay, <laughs> Pus is portion over here. Garima, how many animals are the animals are grazing in the field? How many animals? How do we ask? How many animals are are grazing in the field? And the answer is, I can see ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9 and 10. 10. I can see 10 animals. Conversation I, I. Okay, second conversation. Shopkeeper and customer. Okay, again there is a dialogue between shopkeeper and customer. Shopkeeper, how much sugar do you need? Okay, when we go to shop, the shopkeeper may ask us how much sugar. They themselves ask how much, how many things we need. How much sugar do you need? And what's the answer? Customer, I need a kilogram, please. So, we have to answer the amount. So, we need to know uh, in which amount we ask, ask the things. Okay. So, how we ask for the things or uh, in, in kilo or in liter, right? Which quantity uh, we ask for? We should be aware of that. One more conversation is there. Look at here. Conversation I, I, I. Mother, how many clothes have you washed today? How many clothes? Clothes for clothes also, we ask how many, right? How many clothes? Son, I have washed lot, lots of them. Okay, we can say lots of them. I have was lots of them. Okay, we have gone through the examples. Now, there are activities. Let's see what sorts of activities are given under the speaking section. Okay. Okay, let's go to the exercise B. All right. So, the image below is Ruchi's kitchen okay here's a picture immense picture and this is Ruchi's kitchen right look at the picture and ask answer questions using how much and how many of certain things are there okay so observe this immense picture um, closely so how you can ask questions we using how many and how much okay so this is a picture of a uh, kitchen and we can see a kitchen table over here where you can do your kitchen tasks and um, I can see here some vegetables, fruits on, the, on it, some bowls and plates, right? What else can you see? Okay, there's a chimney, 
then cupboards, kitchen racks, windows, gas stove, pressure cooker, and several other uh, kitchen utensils, right? So we find many things in the kitchen. Now, what do you need to do is you have to ask question to Ruchi. Okay, this is Ruchi's kitchen, and you have to ask question with Ruchi. Example for Ruhi and Ruchi. Okay, I have uh, made dialogue between Ruhi and Ruchi. Ruhi, how many eggs are there in the kitchen? Hmm, okay. And Ruchi, Ruchi is the owner, so Ruchi should know and she should answer. There is a dozen of eggs. Dozen of eggs. Okay. In this way, ask several questions and answer. Okay. So, you can create some more dialogues on it. This is your task. Okay. So, get ready to do and you can practice with your partner, with your friend. Okay. Then, let's move to next activity. Okay. See. Talk about yourself with your friend. Ask and answer about the things you have. Okay, now things you have. You have you have already talked about the kitchen and Ruchi's kitchen. What things are there in the kitchen? Now you have right in right in the class you can ask questions. Example for Bindu. Bindu. Bindu is asking to Kamala, right? Kamala. How much money do you have in your pocket? Okay, you can ask any questions with how much and how many to your friend. Bindu is asking to Kamala, how much money do you have in your pocket? So for money, we say how much, right? How much money do you have? Kamala, I have 50 rupees. How about you? I have only 10 rupees. Okay, so you can carry on like this. Some more examples are there, I guess. Look at here. Mm, okay. Bindu and Kamala. Bindu. Bindu is asking this time, right? Bindu. Kamala, how many books do you have? So, you can ask about all the things. Books, pens, copies. Um, you can even ask about how much water do you have? How much, uh, how many uh, copies do you have, uh, how many scales, pencils, erasers, so you can ask about several things, right? So, she asked about books and the answer is I have 8 books, how about you? I have only 6 books, right? So, 2 person can converse in this way and the last one, Bindu asks again, Kamala, how much water do you have? Okay, so how much do you water do you have? Kamala can answer. I have a bottle of water. How about you? Uh, I have only a half full of bottle. Okay, so not full of a bottle. Okay, it is full of full one and this is half. Okay, so you can ask about how many, how much with your friends right in the class. Ask for the many things. All right, so we have completed this speaking session and I hope you have learned uh, asking how much and how many for the several things and you can even go for shopping to the supermarket and you can have a good conversation with uh, the shopkeeper about how much and how many. Now we have another session that is yes that is Listening session. Okay, so in the beginning, I have informed you, right? We have two sessions today. One is speaking, another is listening. We have done with speaking, now listening. So, listening, what do we do in listening? Yes, you are well familiar with what do we do in the listening, right? So, what do we do in the listening sessions? Tell me how many times you get a chance to listen. How many? One, how many times do you get chance to listen? How many? One, two, and three. Yes, I will play the audio for three times, right? Before that, we discuss some questions, right? Okay, what are the questions? Let's see how many questions are there again. Let's see. 
Okay, here it goes. Look at the picture and answer these questions. Okay. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. What do you find here? Uh, where, who are these peop people? Where are they sitting? Who are these people? Okay, we can clearly recognize that they are students like you, right? Like you, they are in the class. And what are they doing? Speaking, English speaking contest. Okay, they are having a contest. How many students are there in the class? How many? One, two, three and four. Okay, there are four students in the class. And a boy is speaking, taking part in speaking contest in English. Oh, so somehow I have answered this question. Okay, it's easy for you now. A. What do you think the boy is doing? Okay, yes. Now it's very easy for you. What is the boy doing? English speaking contest. He is standing in front and moving his hands. That means he is taking part in speaking contest, speaking something, right? B. Do you feel shy or confident when speaking in English? Why? Do you feel shy or very confident? Mm, yes, some of you might feel shy, some of you might feel confident, right? So you can answer like, uh, okay, I think the boy is taking part in English speaking contest. And B, uh, you can answer freely, whatever you feel you can express. Okay, I feel shy when I was school girl. Now it, is, it has become easy for me. Okay, if you ask me, you can, I can answer like that. You can answer in your own way. So, this is now time for listening. Okay, I'm going to play audio. Now, get it um, for the first time. I'll play audio for the first time. And you, uh, you have to pay your attention to the audio and get to know what is the audio about. Okay, all of you ready? Here it goes, your first listening. I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversations with myself. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay. You have uh, listened the audio for the first time. What do you think the audio is about? Yes. The audio is about the same boy who was taking part in English speaking contest, right? So, on the basis of this audio, we have to solve exercise. Okay, let's go to our next exercise that is listen to the audio and state whether the given sentences are true or false. Okay, A. The speaker is shy about speaking in English. Okay, what do you think the audio, what did the speaker say whether he felt shy or confident while speaking English? So, let's Listen, okay, I will, I will play the audio again. Uh, decide what did the speaker say, whether he felt shy or confident. Then B, the speaker's friends also worry about making mistakes. Okay, it's about not, not only about the person who is speaking, it's about his friends also. Whether his friends felt confident about what they speak and without worrying their mistakes or they they also hesitate feel shy feel shy like him what is it 
So, they worry about mistake or not. C. His friends do not care about using correct grammar. His friends do not care about using grammar. Okay, They do not care about grammar. D. The teacher suggests it is best to learn by doing. Okay, What did their teacher suggest? E. The speaker has a long conversation with himself. Okay, so what do you think? Long or short? And F, he reads his short stories aloud. All right, so here it goes, your second listening and find out the answer. All right. I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in English. I'm a okay. little worried about making mistakes. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversations with myself. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay, let's check your answer. What do you think it is true or false? A. The speaker is shy about speaking English. That is true. Okay. B. The speaker's friends will also worry about making a mistake. What do you think? Yes, it is false. C. His friends do not care about using correct grammar. That is, what did you say? Yes, true. D. The teacher suggests it is best to learn by doing. What do you think? True or false? Yes, that is true. E. The speaker has long conversation with himself. Long conversation or short conversation? What do you think? False. He reads his short stories aloud. True. Okay, once again, you can listen and check this answer, okay? I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversations with myself. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay, we have done with our listening and you must have checked uh, all the answers. Now we have one more activity that is C. Okay, what does it say? How do your family members feel about speaking in English? Why? Talk to your friends. Okay, how do your family members feel about you speaking English? Do you speak English at home or not? Yes, some of you, right? Even our parents, uh, they use many English words, right? In their uh, speaking, they use English words. We have to speak with our family also. But what is the condition? So, do they feel, uh, how do they feel? You have to express that. So, regarding exam, uh, uh, my family, actually my family is Nepali. So, they don't feel comfortable to speak in English. That's true. But they encourage me to speak English. Since it is an international language, my family knows about the importance of speaking English. So, they encourage me to speak English. And yes, they do use some words uh, in English, not only in they talk in Nepali, but so many words are mixed with Nepali as well, right? So, yes, I do talk in English with my family. So, what about you? You can express your own. So, with this, we have come to the end of today's class. So what we have learned today? Yes, 
not only today end of today's class we have come to the end of this unit asking about quantities now i am sure i'm sure that you have learned uh, asking about quantity how many and how much and you can do a uh, good shopping with the uh, asking with how many and how much and you can ask for several things in the shop in a uh, certain amount or quantities so we have finished uh, even our today's listening class so that's all for today thank you and namaste Thank you.